Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and I am excited to present our new kits to you today. So Steph's been working on these for a while, they took quite a while, So, um, but I'm really, really pleased with them and proud of them. Uh, we've got first of all a decorated labels kit. So um, we used a lot of our own um, sort of labely sort of things and some of the borders, Steph created these himself, a lot of these. Um, and then some are from antique books and antique labels that I have. Um, and then altered other labels um, from that we've had in our other kits before. And then Steph decorated them. And all of the script comes from our own personal scanned items. So there are, um, can't remember exactly how many labels. This is the, the full range of the labels in the kit. Um, I want to say there are 18, I could be wrong, um, and I've done them in three different sizes. I've also printed them out, uh, I've got a PDF which is four pages and then four JPEG files. Obviously the JPEG files are a higher resolution than the um, PDF because it compresses the files when you put them in. So if you look, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't tell on camera, this is slight, the colours in this are slightly more intense, that's the JPEG and this is the PDF. So I just wanted to, to note that if you can print from the JPEG, if you're not printing from your device, it's much, you'll get a much um, more defined print, although the, the PDF print is just fine. So I'll turn the two pages over at once. So then um, we've got nine on each page. So yes, there are 18. That one's turned around, and so is that one and that one. Um, so there's, they're bigger ones. That's again, that's the JPEG. Um, and then this is the next page here. So they're the other nine. And then I've put them really small. So what I did was I uh, did half the page with all of the, the labels and then I repeated them on the next page. So that way um, you've got them twice because you don't want to have empty paper. That's just a waste of paper. So that way you get them printed out twice on one sheet. So there's little mini labels, little teeny tiny ones, a bit like, um, the size of Tracy labels sort of thing so because that's very useful and again I printed them out with both um, JPEG and PDF uh, you probably can't tell that oh yeah that's slightly darker it's slightly more intense on on the JPEGs but it's a very 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 faint difference and then this is what I'm really really excited about this one Steffi's been working on this um, super clever uh, we've got some faux postage stamps now this came about because Steph was wanting to use them um, when he was creating our last document um, journal and I wouldn't let him scan any um, stamps. I, uh, there, I mean, all of us have a few on old antique postcards and stuff, but I didn't want him to sort of have the, you know, the, I don't know what the thing is about the stamps. So um, I didn't want to, um, I said, no, you can't have any stamps. That's a long story short. So then what he did was he created his own stamp this was the one he created. I just love it. And I said to him, yeah, that is beautiful. It's on one of the um, postcards, the like FM, um, journal cards that was in our, our last kit. But I, I said to him, you need to do more of those. So he went to town. So he's done a few in a few different colours. There's actually 39 different stamps. Some of them I had him ch also change the colour because sometimes we want a different colour. Um, He's totally created them himself with his own borders. Um, some of them come like little symbols from super old documents and others like this one here, um, he designed. He designed that, um, inspired by these sorts of things. These, this flower was um, designed by Lulu. Um, that was drawn by Lulu. Um, some of the borders he totally created. I'm just trying to see here if there are any others. That one he sketched inspired by a an old document he created that one uh, um i think he created that one down there as well you'll see them bigger in a second like he he did the drawing sort of thing and that one there it's the same as that one but different color so um i really love these and i've been bursting to use them so now i can go to town and use them so again i've done these i printed them out that's the jpeg slightly more intense color and that is the pdf but they're both nice. So, um, and here it's a bit more of a raspberry red here. It's, it's very slightly more orange. 
they pretty much are similar that's slightly lighter those look the same to me almost um, the color that's more intense that's a bit lighter so that's the difference um, so again I've made them smaller now I couldn't fit because um, there's 39 I couldn't oh that's one of the bigger ones you'll see next um, I couldn't fit all of them on the page twice and I didn't want to make them too many so I just chose a selection of my favorite ones to repeat twice in the mini in mini version um, yes I took a couple out just so I could fit in um, more of my favorites and I wanted more so than these sorts of decorated ones I do think those are super pretty but I really love these more antique style ones because I haven't you know that's a I haven't seen those done before so in the antique style like that so um, I thought that was super fun um, that's one of the that's that stamp in I've done them bigger as well oh that's the double print again and and so here they are bigger in case you want a bigger stamp on something you might just want to stick it on a page or put two together and use it use them as tabs or that sort of thing it's always useful to have them in different sizes um so that's the first one and then the second one and then it's missing this one here so i put it on this page because i couldn't fit it in either of the pages so there they are bigger um, as well so again it's a four page digital um, it did take Steph a long time oh you can see better this this is drawn by Steffi that was drawn um, I'm not sure about that one I'd ha he's not here I'd have to ask him he won't he's not here yet um, he did some funny things he put <laughs> like in some of the things he put Roxy creations which I thought was a real heat um, and where's the other one here um, that's Lulu's drawing. He did that. Lulu drew that. I know he, he did some sketchy sort of thing with that one. Um, yeah. So, and he, you know, he, he, he put these faux stamps on them. So, yeah, I hope you like them. It's something a bit different, but, you know, I always love to have some different things to embellish with. I'm going to have fun cutting them out. I can tell you that. But anyway, I don't cut them all out at once. I just do a few at a time and then when they when I sort of my page starts to get messy because I've been chopping bits out I just cut them out you know maybe in threes and stick them in the ephemera holder and then cut them out as I need them rather than sitting there cutting them all out at once and just to just to give you an idea I would use um these sorts of like you know these kind of deckle sort of scissors they make a terrible sound sherry doesn't like that sound um but um I would use those to cut them out um, if you were concerned about any form of whiteness around them, you can, I mean, you might be an inker if you're not an inker. I've been using this Tombow 942. I think I showed it in my video yesterday. And you can just get, do a little colouring around the edge and it takes out the white just very lightly. So I hope you like those. I'm super excited and I'm going to go and upload my video so you can see what's included in the kits. I do have photographs. Um, obviously there are four pages so in the main thumbnail photograph on the listing you'll see the four pages but some because they're white edges obviously it's hard to distinguish them and then I've got two more images two pages on either side of each other or top and bottom in the case of this one where they're horizontal also just a note on printing if you're printing from the PDF um, this is a landscape this one was done landscape so you'll need to make your PDF you know you, when you click print make sure it's landscape because otherwise you'll see them turned around the other way and they'll be small um, and then of course you'll have to revert it back to portrait when you print this one because it's portrait whereas with your printing from the jpegs no problem it will print um, correctly so thank you so much for watching and i hope you like them and i will see you again soon bye